Hello everyone, this is Jeff Perlman with Zojo, and I'm here today to show you a new feature that we've implemented for Zojo 2022 R1. Now you've probably noticed that when you have codes selected in the code editor, you can right click and get a contextual menu. And there's some things on here like wrap in where you can tell it to wrap it in a do loop or for next loop, that sort of thing. And those are nice. These are built in, of course. Well, you can now write your own. You'll notice there's another menu item called Code Assistance, and I've got one that's uh, uh, installed already called Wrap in, Wrap in Is Dark Mode. That's a mouthful. So I'm going to choose that, and it does exactly what you'd expect. It creates an if statement with if is dark mode, and it puts the code you selected in the else part so you can now implement the uh, code that should run when it's in dark mode. Pretty straightforward. Now, what does a code assistant like this look like? Well, let's take a look. So code assistants are created as IDE scripts. Now, if you've never written an IDE script before, don't panic. They're not a big deal. Uh, you write them in Zojo script, which is just the Zojo language without all the framework stuff. So it should be very familiar. And you just implement three functions. Name, which you, is where you return the name or the text that you want to appear in the menu itself, wrap in is dark mode in this case. You implement can edit, which gets passed a selection. That's the code that the user selected in the code editor. And this allows you to determine if your script can edit this kind of code or not. Now, in this case, it's just doing a wrap, so it returns true every time. But you might be writing a script that can only handle certain lines of code, in which case you could test for those in this function and then return true or false. If you return false, then your menu item just doesn't appear at all. And finally, edit. It also gets past the code selection and you simply return the replacement selection. In this case, we're creating an array of lines and we're adding if is dark mode then a blank line, else the code selection, and then end if. We're then using string.fromArray to take that array and turn it back into a string and return it. It's that simple. So the problem with this though is that writing code in the IDE script editor can be challenging because it doesn't have a debugger. Well, we've made that easier for you with this sample project called Code Assistant Tester. It implements the three events that you, or rather the three methods that you need, name, can edit, and edit. And all you do is fill the code in there and then run it right in the IDE and test it. Now, to show you this, I came up with my own Code Assistant. What I wanted was one where I would declare a variable and then wherever else in the selected code I use that variable, it would replace it with the variable declaration so that the case always matched. It didn't matter how I typed it, the case would always match. So let's take a look. In the name method, I'm returning the name I want to use, match var case. That's what will appear in the menu. In can edit, I'm checking to see if the selection using an index of has a var statement. Because if there's no variable, then there'll be nothing to case uh, to use as a uh, as a case. So I'm checking for that. If I find it, then I'm returning true. If I don't find it, I return false because this is an example of a script that can't do anything unless there's a var statement. It has to meet that condition. And finally, edit. And edit's doing the meat of the work. It gets the selection of lines of code. In this case, I'm putting them into an array just like that other example did. I'm looping through each line, checking to see if the line begins with var. If it does, then I'm using nth field on that line to get the second field that will, you know, with a delimiter of a space, that'll be the name of the variable. I put that into the name uh, variable. And then I'm just doing a search and replace. So I'm using selection, uh, setting the selection to replace all. And this is interesting, I'm replacing the name with itself. Well, the, the upshot of that is that it's going to replace the name that I got from the variable line with any copies of it it finds in the selection, thus setting the case to match. And I return the selection in the return statement. Now, since this is right in the code editor, I can test it and I can debug it. So I'm going to press run. And the code assistant tester has this little sort of sample code editor. It's just a, a text area or text field in this case. And I'm going to change this uh, variable here to all caps just to really make this obvious. I'm going to select these lines, I'm going to right click, and there it is, match var case. It saw that there was a, a var line, so it appeared. I select it, 
and there it is. It took the variable in message box and made it match the case of the variable on the var line. Okay, so now I know that my code assistant works. So how do I turn it into an actual code assistant script so that I can start using it in the IDE? Well, let's do that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a template, copy it all in, and load it up. So let's do that. I'm going to switch back to the desktop. Now, these scripts go in the scripts folder in case you've never used that before. You can see there's the wrap in as dark mode script. And the template is in example projects. So I'm going to go to example projects, advanced, ID scripting, code assistants. You'll see there are a few other code assistants in there. There's comment expander and text to char. You can try those out. But this is the one I want. This is just the empty template. So I'm going to copy that and go back to my scripts folder, put that in there, and then I'm gonna change its name to match var case, and I'm gonna open this in Zojo. Okay, so there's my simple empty uh, template, and now I just need to put in my code. So I'm gonna put in match var case as the name, and so you don't have to watch me type. I'm going to go copy my code out of here. Let's start with can edit. So I'll copy that code and I'll paste that into the can edit function. Then I'm going to go to edit, copy that, paste it into the edit function. There we go. And then I will save. Okay. Now I want to test it out. So uh, I'm going to put in a line of code that looks just like that other one, just for testing purposes, my name as string. And I'll put message box, and I'll put my name in all caps. Now, the scripts, or rather the code assistants, are loaded when you launch the IDE. But because you might be testing over and over again, we wanted to give you the ability to reload them. So you can reload them by, when you bring up the contextual menu, hold down uh, on the Mac the command key, on Windows and Linux the control key. So I'm going to hold it down, press the, oops, let me try that again, hold it down. And you saw a little flash there, that was it reloading the code assistance. Now I'm going to go to code assistance, there it is, match var case, pick it, and there it is. It changed the case to match the declaration line. So that's how you create these scripts, um, these code assistant scripts. You can do lots of different things, very creative things with them. Um, we're really anxious to see what you do with them. And if you come up with some nifty ones, be sure to share them on the Zojo forum so other people can try them. And let's see what happens with these. It's an exciting new feature to improve the code editor and customize it a little bit just the way you'd like. Thanks.